They have served more than 55 million people, and today they are making stop in Sepulpa. Two News reporter Joe Hankey is well, in hey, Sepulpa well, at the there. Convoy of Hope now with more. Volunteers. Good morning, Patty. We are here out of the Convoy of Hope near uh, Sepulpa here, and uh, Bob Roach, the uh, director of the Sepulpa Convoy of Hope, is joining me. They've been doing Convoy of Hopes around the U.S. for 15 years now, and we got one right here in Oklahoma today. Bob, what, what is this event you guys got going on? You know, today it's a day that we, in a tangible way, through humanitarian efforts, but also through acts of kindness, give out multiple services to people that we believe that they can uh, benefit them mm -hmm. through food services, through groceries, through free haircuts, through free family portraits, uh, through um, just uh, health services where they can get free health screenings and uh, backpacks with it being back to school time. So we're just trying to help out families to get by for another day. So we're out here at the uh, at the fairgrounds and people um, basically can can show up uh, starting a little bit later this morning, got all your volunteers setting up and uh, you guys just sort of got a course set up here, you walk through it? And yes, they do. We have a one main side entrance and they can go through all these multiple services and at the very end of the day, you know, when they're done with their day, they're going to say, hey, where can I get my groceries? And we'll direct them right in that area, and they can pick up their groceries, and they'll be done for their day. And how, how do you guys pull this off? You guys are expecting probably thousands of people out here today. You, you, you got enough volunteers to handle, but how do you set all this up? And you know, this has been many months into planning. Uh, we've been working at this for probably over eight months through a staff of many great volunteers, people working over every site and uh, putting their team together. And then when we announced it through the partnership of churches, of businesses, and community organizations, all of them coming together is really making this day happen for the Sepulpa and Creek County. And who, who can show up here today and uh, sort of come to the Convoy of Hope? You know, anybody. Uh, this is wide open. Uh, there's no um, no identification that's really needed. No, uh, it's just here to serve people. Perfect. Well, Bob, thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, Patty, we'll uh, send it back to you in studio there. Thanks, Joe. The Co Convoy of Hope makes a stop today in Sepulpa at the Creek County Fairgrounds. Gates open at 10 a.m.